Hey everyone, welcome back to your 30 day Pilates journey. Today it is day six and we are working on some side body Pilates mat exercises. So we'll do a little bit of side bending, we'll do a little bit of twisting and a lot of side body strengthening. So we're gonna get started. Instead of the 100 today, we'll get started with a forearm plank. Bear with me, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll go ahead and just line your body up with your mat, put your forearms parallel to each other on the mat and then extend your legs out to find that plank. And we won't be here for very long. We're just gonna work our Pilates scoop and then think of pushing the floor away with your forearms so that your shoulder blades spread along your back. We'll be here for about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Now just tap your knees down. Let's press back into a little child's pose. And we'll walk the hands to one side to get a little opening through the side of the rib cage in the armpit. And then go ahead and walk the hands over to the other side. Nice little stretch here. Good, now we'll add on to that forearm plank. We're gonna take it from side to side. So go ahead and walk back out, firing up off of your mat into your forearm plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Now tap your knees down, we'll stay here. I want you to turn your left forearm inward so that you can come onto this little half um, forearm side plank here with your knees down on the mat. Your heels are in line with your seat, knees bent. We're up here and the hips are lifting up as high as you can. And we'll take a couple of pulses here. We'll go up for five, for four, working the underside of the waist and two, and we're up on one. Hold there. Now, if you feel like a rock star, we can lift the top leg off for a little extra fire. Keep working those abdominals in and up, staying strong, squeezing down into your bottom armpit. You can extend that leg out or you can just keep it where it was. And we're just gonna swing the leg forward and then bring it in line with your body. And swing the leg forward, bring it in line with your body. One more time, swing that leg forward, bring it in line with your body and then stack the leg back up on top of that bottom leg. Now, if you don't like this at all, stay here. If you want a little extra fire, we'll extend the legs out and you can keep them staggered as mine are or you can stack one on top of the other. We'll hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Now just tap your knees down and we'll go back into the center. Now let's go ahead and turn the other forearm inward my back will face you you can switch your legs around to if you want to keep facing the screen and we're up in this half forearm position half forearm plank position with your hips lifting up to the ceiling and then we'll just begin to pulse upward here with the hips five four three two one now with heels in line with seat stay here or you can lift your top leg up off of the bottom leg. From there, you can extend that top leg out or you can just keep holding it. And we'll swing the leg forward as an option for three to bring it back in line with the body. For two, back in line. One more time forward and then back in line. And then go ahead and re-bend that top leg, setting it down to meet the bottom leg and if you'd like a little extra fire for five more seconds, we'll extend out with the legs into a full sidearm plank here. Five, four, three, two, one. And now just soften your knees down into that. We'll turn to face forward again, and then go ahead and just sit back into a quick little child's pose. And after that, I hope you're feeling quite warm. So from here, we'll take a seated position sitting tall on your mat and then let your legs widen out so my heels are going to drop off the side edges you're going to bring your hands behind the back of your head here option also to cross the arms over the chest whatever feels best for your shoulders now keeping tall through the spines we're just going to take it over into a right side bend so that your left elbow is reaching straight up to the ceiling and I want you to pretend like your spine is in between two panes of glass so you're not going forward or back in this position, just straight out over to the side. And then bring it back to the center. We'll go over to the other side. Big side bend, up, up, and over. Working into that deep stretch. 
and then pulling back to center. Let's go one more time each side. We'll go up and over to the right again. Try to bring your elbow on the right side down to the mat right next to your hip bone. Left elbow straight up towards the ceiling, back to center, and then again to the right for your last stretch here. Or I mean to the left, so this will be your second side. This time, left elbow pulling down to the floor, right elbow reaching up to the sky. And then go ahead and bring it back into center. Sitting tall, let's relax the arms down, and then roll on down to the mat until you're flat on your back. From here, we're gonna scoot the hips slightly over to the left so you can drop your knees down fully to the right side. You wanna stack your kneecaps one on top of the other so that you're fully on your right hip and then bring your hands behind your back so that both of your shoulders are flat on the mat. So you're kind of twisting your body open towards the ceiling here. Now from here, we're gonna curl up, pulling forward, pulling your waist in, and I want you to work that top side of your waist, that small space right in between the bottom of your ribs and the top of your hip bone, that small soft space, and then we'll go ahead and just lower it back down. Let's do that a couple more times. Try to curl forward, keeping your shoulders square to the sky and bring it back down one more time we'll curl it forward holding it up here and let's pulse up for five for four try to find that tremble of truth so if you can go even just a micro inch higher go for it two more last one and then lower back down now we'll take the knees back to center scoot the hips now over to the right so you can drop your knees fully over to the left keeping the kneecaps stacked one on top of the other, keeping your chest open towards the ceiling, we'll curl it up and forward and lower it all the way down for two more curling up and forward, trying to get a little bit higher this time, lowering all the way down. One more time, bringing it up and forward, holding the top here and then pulsing up higher, five, squeezing inner thighs, four, three, two, one, and then lowering all the way down. Awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn to lie flat on your side body. So I'm lying down on my right side here and resting my right ear on top of my right bicep. Left arm is working in front of the body as a kickstand. So now we're gonna squeeze the legs together and press into the hand and lift the upper body and the lower body off the mat and then go ahead and lower it down with control. Ooh, that is tough. We'll do that two more times, lifting up and up and up and down and down and down. One more time, lifting up and up and up and back down, down and down. Now here's the good part. We'll pull the knees into the chest, press yourself up with your arms, grab onto your ankles and then reach your right arm to the ceiling. Now pull yourself over with your left arm coming into a big side bend stretch. Ah, up and over. Now we'll take this right arm and stretch it all the way out, placing it flat down on the mat. Option to go onto your forearm here or just keep that arm long. We're gonna press up into this familiar knees on side plank, lifting the hips up as high as they can go, holding here. If you want a little bit of extra fire, you can extend your legs out. Any configuration of the feet works for me, staggered or stacked, holding there. And then just try to get your hips higher wherever you are, knees on, legs straight, one knee bent, whatever it is, holding five, holding four, three, two, and one. Soften your knees, pull your heels into your seat again, grab onto your ankles, lift up tall through your chest, and pull yourself over into that big side bend stretch. Ah, and then go ahead and come out of that. Now from here, we're gonna switch it on over to the other side, so just flip your legs over and lie down flat on your mat with your left ear on your left bicep. Right arm is doing some of the work here by working as a kickstand. We'll press and lift, trying to keep your bicep connected to your ear as your legs and your armpit lift off the mat, and then we'll lower back down. You got two more of these. Press and lift up, 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 and back down, down, down. One more time. Press and lift, lift, lift and the lower 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 now go ahead and bend your knees in towards your chest press up into your mermaid grabbing to ankles left arm reaches to the sky will lift tall lengthening pull yourself over deep stretch 
Ah, keep the chest lifted here. Try to keep that arm close to your ear on the top side. And then go ahead and come out. We'll take that palm flat down to the floor or down to forearm as a modification. Good, extend your knees away from you a bit and then plank up into your knees down plank. Good, now hips are lifting up high so you're getting into that bottom side of the waist, really working those muscles there. And then if you'd like an extra fire there in your waist, go ahead and extend your legs out. Stacked or staggered, holding. Hips get higher, five, four, three, two, one. Soften knees down, soften that hip down, bend the knees in closer. Grab to ankles here. We'll take one arm up to the ceiling here on this left side and pull yourself over with that right arm to pull into a deep stretch. Last mermaid of the day. Then go ahead and make your way out of that finding center and you are all done for day six of your 30 day Pilates journey. I will see you on the mat tomorrow for day seven.